you're going to lose your economy, you're going to lose your politician status, okay. you're going to lose your power in your army, okay. and uh, you will lose this war. It's a kind of escalation, and uh, mm, we expected it. We expect uh, uh, those decisions for many months uh, before, and we are kind of ready to meet uh, your new high technology weapon on uh, Ukrainian battlefield. Of course, uh, it's gonna be huge difficulties for our army, for our people, for our security in Russia, uh, if you will send long range missiles to Ukraine, they gonna use it um, and uh, uh, we should protect our cities, uh, our uh, people, and um, that's kind of escalation, mm. of course. But you will not uh, uh, win this war. You should understand. If you want to divide my country, you, would, you want to divide my people, you want to change the regime, you will lose. Zelensky well, well, and the Western world are losing right now. Uh, let me ask you directly about that, because I started today's program by asking a straightforward seeming question, which is, how does this war end? Nobody that I know of in the West is expecting to march on Moscow or invade Russia or anything like that. But at the same time, because of NATO weapons inside Ukraine, it's very hard for Russia to win militarily either. In other words, does this not just go on and on for years and years to come? It's not going to be uh, years and years. Uh, now I hope uh, it will end uh, soon. But uh, uh, you should... Uh, but how? How is my question? Meet the, the right decision. You should uh, sit on the round ta table with us. I mean uh, the Western world and Russia. The only our goal is... You should understand it. You must understand it. Is security guarantees for Russian people. Because uh, we want to live by our own way. You shouldn't dictate us how to live. You shouldn't move NATO infrastructure closer and closer to our mm. borders. Because it's a huge threat. For Russian people, right. for regular people, ordinary people in Russia, in it's, Moscow or Yakutsk. But before this war started, there was no real threat from Ukraine to Russia. Ukraine was much, much weaker than Russia. There was no threat of any kind. And I know of nobody that I ever speak to in the West, in, in different governments, who makes any kind of military threat to Russia. That's regarded as mad here. So the question is, are there any... Uh, negotiations that you're aware of? Are there any beginnings of peace talks? Are there any intermediaries? Is anything going on at all which would allow Russia uh, and the West and Ukraine to find a way to end this war? Of course, we just should sit and negotiate each other. I mean, Moscow, Washington, London, other parts of the Western world. Because, uh, you know, I can repeat, the only we need is security guarantees. And uh, it's a huge mistake when you're talking about uh, uh, no threat for Russia before this military operation. It was a huge threat for decades because... But it was a, it was a sm small country without a military to challenge no, your country. It no, wasn't a threat in no, any real you, sense. You, uh, uh, you are an experienced journalist. You should see huge picture. Uh, Think big, because uh, we have uh, threat, uh, fr threats from uh, uh, NATO countries, from the United States, uh, by uh, military system, which is moving to our borders by decades from uh, the era of collapsing uh, the USSR. And uh, every, every year military infrastructure uh, on our borders is a 
huge threat for ordinary Russian people. But it was before the military operation. Let me return, if I could, just to the issue that's obsessing people in London right now, which is this appeal by President Zelensky for Western jets to be sent to Ukraine. Britain seems to be, in some senses, out ahead of other Western countries. What would your message be to the British Prime Minister about taking this decision? I have no message for British uh, Prime Minister because I'm uh, under your British sanctions, which is funny. But uh, I can tell you, I, I can tell you that uh, Russian people are brave people. Uh, they are peaceful people. You should know it. You should read our history and uh, know what we mm. lose uh, ever. Uh, in our history, and uh, uh, we gonna fight for our security guarantees. You should know it. We have consolidation in our society right now. We are ready to do everything to get security guarantees from the Western world. But you gonna lose this war, and you should understand it. You losing your economy. You have a huge mm. and uh, electricity bills. Gonna lose your economy. You are gonna lose your politician status. Okay. You gonna lose your power in your army. Okay. And uh, you will lose this war. Evgeny That's Popov, it. Mr. Popov. I don't think there's going to be a meeting of minds here, but thank you very much indeed for talking to me.